Dear students, welcome to Study Buzz, your online study channel. Today we are going to study design thinking for class 2. Let's have the overview. The three little pigs house. Concept. Testing materials. Book. Stem connect. Let's start the story. The title is The Three Little Pigs House. Once upon a time, there was a mother pig who had three little pigs. The three little pigs grew so big that their mother said to them, You are too big to live here any longer. You must go and build houses for yourself. But take care that the wolf does not catch you. The three little pigs set off. We will take care that the wolf does not catch us, they said. Soon they met a man who was carrying some straw. Please will you give me some straw, asked the first little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man and he gave the first little pig some straw. Then the first little pig built himself a house of straw. He was very pleased with his house. He said, Now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. I shall build a stronger house than yours, said the second little pig. I shall build a stronger house than yours too, said the third little pig. The second little pig and the third little pig went on along the road. Soon they met a man who was carrying some sticks. Please will you give me some sticks? asked the second little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man and he gave the second little pig some sticks. Then the second little pig built himself a house of sticks. It was stronger than the house of straw. The second little pig was very pleased with his house. He said, Now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. I shall build house a stronger than yours, said the third little pig. The third little pig walked on along the road by himself. Soon he met a man carrying some bricks. Please will you give me some bricks? asked the third little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man and he gave the third little pig some bricks. Then the third little pig built himself a house of bricks. It took him a long time to build it for it was a very strong house. The third little pig was very pleased with his house. He said, Now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. The next day, the wolf came along the road. He came to the house of straw, which the first little pig had built. When the first little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside his house and shut the door. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the little pig. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you come in. Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. The house of straw fell down and the wolf ate up the first little pig. The next day, the wolf walked further along the road. He came to the house of sticks which the second little pig had built. When he, the second little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside his house and shut the door. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the little pig. 
by the hair of my chinny chin chin i will not let you come in then i will huff and i will puff and i will blow your house in said the wolf so he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed the house of sticks fell down and the wolf ate up the second little pig the next day the wolf walked further along the road he came to the house of bricks which the third little pig had built when the third little pig saw the wolf coming he ran inside his house and shut the door the wolf knocked on the door and said little pig little pig let me come in no no said the little pig by the hair of my chinny chin chin i will not let you come in then i will huff and i will puff and i will blow your house in said the wolf so he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed but the house of bricks did not fall down the wolf was very angry but he pretended not to be he thought this is a clever little pig if i want to catch him i must pretend to be his friend so the wolf said little pig if you will be ready at 6 o'clock in the morning i will take you to farmer smith's field we shall find some nice turnips for dinner very well said the little pig but the third little pig was a clever little pig he knew that the wolf was wanted to eat him so the next morning the third little pig set off for farmer smith's field at 5 o'clock he filled his basket with turnips then he hurried home before it was 6 o'clock at 6 o'clock the wolf knocked on the little pig's door are you ready little pig he said oh i have been to farmer smith's field said the little pig i filled my basket with turnips and they are now cooking for my dinner the wolf was very angry but he pretended not to be when the wolf heard this he was very 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 angry indeed he said little pig i am going to eat you up i am going to climb down your chimney to get you the little pig was very frightened but he said nothing he put a big pot of water on the fire to boil then he began to come down the chimney the little pig took off the lid from the pot into the pot fell down the wolf with a big splash and that was the end of the wolf the third little pig was too clever for him we have completed our story now let's do the worksheet 6 investigate which material to use to build a house for the three little pigs materials we have tested through this story are hay straw sticks bricks and cement so in the story we have clearly seen that the house which was made by hay and straw was not that strong as compared to the house which was made by sticks and the house which was made by stick was not as strong as the house which was made by bricks and cement so this is clear that the house which is made up of bricks and cement is the strongest now which material do you think will be the best answer is brick and cement why because the houses made up of bricks and cement are long lasting and permanent they are sturdy and strong these houses are also called as pakka houses they cannot be broken easily 
Now build your house. Test your house by blowing on it. Could the big bad wolf blow it down? No, because it is made up of bricks and cement. It is very strong and cannot be blown easily. So here we have completed our chapter material testing for design thinking subject. Hope it is clear and uh, the story was also interesting. Uh, if you have any doubt, please watch the video again. Thank you.